It's me, Diddy Boy! Welcome to another How to Build tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build this large medieval style house, and if you like it, all I'm hoping for is that you'll click the like button. Here are the materials you'll need. You should be able to build this house after several hours of mining and wood gathering. I use spruce wood in this build, but you can substitute dark oak or regular oak if you find those kinds of woods first. I also used a lot of bone blocks for the walls. You can make these by bone mealing organic materials in a composter or by killing skeletons for bones. If you don't have a lot of bone blocks, you can substitute more diorite. Start off by finding the perfect spot to build your house and quickly terraform it. Let's start off to the left here. This will be the back left corner of the build. Starting with the items I have in my hotbar here, place a cobbled deep slate block in the back corner first, then place six more toward the front of the house and six more to the right. Then fill in this entire square with cobbled deep slate until you have a seven by seven square. Next to this square to the right, add another 9x9 nine nine square of cobbled deep slate that is centered on the first square. Now knock out the four corners of the 9x9 nine nine square and replace them with stripped spruce logs pointing up. You can also use regular spruce logs and strip them in place with your axe. Knock out the two side corners of the 7x7 seven seven area and do the same. Next to the 9x9 nine nine square, come down to the bottom right corner, move up two spaces, then place a line of three cobbled deep slate blocks on the ground going out. Then turn to the side and place three more blocks going up and three more blocks across the top. Then fill in this area with cobbled deep slate too. This side area represents the tower and we're going to build this up first so place deep slate bricks on all four sides. On the side facing into the rest of the house leave a space in the middle for your doorways. We want to start breaking up the pattern a bit as the tower rises so on this level we're going to place polished deep slate, deep slate brick in the middle, then another deep polished deep slate and repeat that on all four sides going up. On the next layer, go back to placing all deep slate bricks and keep alternating all the way up until the tower raises 12 blocks off the ground, bringing the tower's total height to 13 blocks so far. On the top level, place another row of all polished deep slate blocks, no bricks. With spruce stairs, hold shift, back up on the ledge and look down to place upside down two spruce stairs, one apart, on every side of the tower. Between each of these, place a spruce slab and also place them on these corners between each side. On top of every stair, place a strip spruce log facing up. And on every slab, place a polished diorite. Now raise every strip spruce log up by three more to a height of four. On top of these polished diorite, place bone blocks if you have them, or regular diorite, or a mix thereof. For the windows, just place a bone block sideways or place diorite between the strip spruce, leaving a two block gap for a window on three sides, but not the side facing the house. Facing the gap in the tower, knock out this bottom block and place a polished deep slate. Then starting from the ground with your spruce slabs, you want to place one just inside to the left, 
then another behind it, a half slab up, then another, a half slab up behind that, and continue going up the outer walls with half slabs, creating a spiral staircase until you get back to the gap in the tower. Place another polished deep slate block here to indicate where the second level goes. Then continue up the tower, placing slabs around the outer walls, one half slab up each time. When you get back to this space, place another polished deep slate here, then place four more slabs going up. Now that you're on the back wall of the tower, place more spruce slabs here and here, and place a single spruce fence here to block the drop. Place two ladders on the wall here and a single trap door on the wall above it. That up there is where your top level is. Now go back down the spiral stairs one level and knock out two blocks in the outer wall right here. Go back down another full level and knock out two more blocks here. Starting from the bottom, place a strip spruce log in the center and raise logs straight up the center of the tower until you reach the trap door at the top. Place spruce slabs all around this level to create a floor. Make sure to close this gap with another polished deep slate. To build the dome roof, start by placing deep slate tile blocks on top of every wall. Like that. Then go around the outside and place half slabs all around the outside. Now on each flat side of the roof, place a single block in the center, then a stair on each side of it, facing it, and a stair on top, facing into the center. At these corners between each side, place another deep slate tile block on top and then one to either side and go all the way around repeating this. Now go around and place another deep slate tile block on top of each block to either side of the stairs. Go around again and place stairs on each of these blocks all facing inward like so and then place a deep slate tile full block between each of these stairs. On the front facing side of the tower, we're going to put more stairs facing the back, and on the back side, we'll put more stairs facing the front. Place another stairs on top of these center blocks facing inward and repeat that on all sides. Now place an upside down stairs on the back of each of these stairs. Here's where it gets complex. Stand facing the front and put upside down stairs on the backs of these two sideways facing stairs, then face the back and put two more upside down stairs here and here. Now place two stairs right side up on top of them facing front and go back to the front and place two stairs right side up facing the back. Place four more deep slate tile stairs on all four center stairs facing inward. Place a tile block in the middle and another on top, then top that with your wall and two spruce fences. Now you'll want to grab your trapdoors and pillar up the outside wall of the tower using dirt blocks or scaffolding. Place oak trapdoors in each of the windows, one that opens to the bottom and one that opens to the top. Scaffold around the outside of the top of the tower to place the trapdoors inside the front and back windows as well as the side. And while you're here, shift click to place a spruce trapdoor at the top of the top oak trapdoor like a little awning. Now to build up the first floor of the house, grab the blocks you see in my hotbar. Where you placed each of these stripped spruce logs at the corners, raise them up by another three logs each. Now on the front side, place two stone blocks coming in from each post and two polished andesite. Leave this space for the door. Now build this wall up three high, including the polished andesite, and place another polished andesite right above the center of the door. Fill up this entire 6x3 section with stone. Fill up the end with stone and also the back. On the 9x9 section of the back, place a three high column of stone on this section, then two columns of polished andesite with another at the top middle to create the back doorway. Move inside the house and fill up these little sections to either side of the tower with stone. 
Then divide this area into two rooms by filling up this entire area with stone, leaving a too high doorway, one in from the right side. Now I'm going to texture all of these walls with a mixture of stone bricks. On these doorways, I'm going to pop out one or two blocks and replace them with regular diorite. Then in each wall space, I'm going to replace 50% of the blocks with a mix of stone bricks. So in this first space at the front, there are 12 stone bricks. So I'm going to pop out six and replace them with bricks. Then I'm going to pop out 50% of the bricks or three of them and replace them with mossy bricks and crack bricks. Same with this section, it's 18 blocks total. So I will pop out nine blocks, then I'll add bricks then I'll add just a few cracked and mossy bricks. I'll go around the rest of the house doing the same, including on the inside. Now pillar up on top of the walls and move to the tower. Laying stripped spruce logs sideways, come out three from this front corner. Then turn and come across another eight logs to the next corner. Do the same on the back side of the house. Then place seven more across this dividing wall. Then for the extension, run six logs out from each side. Place two logs upright on top of the end corners. Connect the middle with more logs. Now put the floor in by extending a strip spruce beam of logs across the middle and do the same lengthwise across the extension. Fill in all the gaps everywhere with top half spruce slabs. Grab our spruce stairs and slabs. Across the front here, we're going to cover the beam ends by placing a stair at the top of the beam, one on the outside, and another one two spaces inward. Do the same at the other corner. Now place a spruce slab between the stairs. Place another stair over the front door and slabs to either side. Place three more stairs along the beam atop the extension with a gap between each. Do the same on the back side. Do the same stairs and slab placements at the corners as you did at the front, but leave out the middle stairs for the time being. Build another wooden awning above the back door. On the second floor, we're going to run another series of strip spruce logs around to form the lower wall of the room, starting from the side of the tower one block back. Then run a line of sideways logs across these stairs on the front of the house. Do the same on the back side of the house. Place a log upright on this first log out of the extension, then two logs forward to connect. Repeat this on the back side of the house. At the corners, place a spruce trap door on either side to cover the beam edges. On the front of the house, also place a trap door here and one on the underside of the beam. Then run spruce signs along the beams from the tower across the front of the house. Below these two gaps, where we're going to have windows, I'm going to place azalea leaves instead. Let's also run signs from the tower and across the back, but not on the extension side. We're now going to raise some log columns around the second floor, so follow what I do closely. Place two on top of the beam to the right of the tower, two more at this corner, count over five spaces, one, two, three, four, five, and put two here, two more at this corner, and two more here. Skip a space and place four logs upright. Skip another space and place another four logs here. Skip another space and place two logs here. Place two logs at this corner on the back of the house. Count over four spaces, one, two, three, four, and put two logs here. Count over one, two, three spaces and put two logs here. Two logs at this corner. And finally, two more logs at next to the tower. Grab polished diorite and starting from the tower, we're going to skip this first space, but then we're going to put a polished diorite on either side of every beam across the front and across the back. There's one exception and that's this beam. Leave a space to either side. Atop each of these polished diorite, we can place a bone block or a regular diorite. We're going to proceed to frame and fill the roof of the main structure, starting right next to the tower. Grab the items you see in my hot bar here and pillar on top of the second floor walls. From the side of the tower here, run three deep slate tiles. Then switch to spruce slabs and run a line of bottom half slabs outside that. Place an upside down stairs at this end. Then another slab beside it, a stairs on top of that, an upside down stairs behind it, and a full plank on top. Then stairs back to front for three more levels up. Behind this one, we're going to place a sideways upside down stairs and then we're going to mirror this from the other side, like that. Now I'm going to mirror this entire frame on the back side of the house, like so. Now I'm going to place a stair at the edge here, a slab behind it, another stair, and another slab. Now I'm gonna hop to the other side and do the same and connect the apex with slabs like this. 
Next step is to fill in this front portion of the third floor. So we're gonna extend this center beam all the way up to the top. Then let's run lines of strip spruce logs across the bottom over to the beam. Then we're gonna run two more vertical beams here and here from the lower beam up three blocks each. Between each of these, I'm going to fill in with a mix of bone blocks and regular diorite. Do the same on the back of the house, except connect the horizontal beam and run the vertical beams from there. Pillar up outside the house and connect the two sides of the frames here at the top of this first full plank with alternating slabs and stairs. Place three trapdoors here to look cool and prevent spawns. Do this on the back side too. In these little gaps on the side of the house, fill them with more horizontal strip spruce logs. Do this on the front and the other side of the roof as well. Now fill in this area between the two frames with deep slate tiles using blocks where you have blocks on the frame and stairs where you have stairs. Placing these stairs directly under the tower will be hard, so you may have to temporarily take out the tower blocks to do it. Now we need to frame the small side of the house so that it's easier to connect the roof. Start off with upside down stairs up against both these vertical beams, then regular stairs outside that and extending all the way across these stairs along the bottom. Place two more stairs on top of those, then a full plank, then stairs rising two blocks up. Upside down stairs in the middle, then repeat the same on the other side. On the back side of the extension, just fill with deep slate tile stairs or blocks from the frame inward. When you get to this corner, place another full deep slate tile here. When you reach the main roof, just turn sideways and take the tiles out to the frame. Top off the extension roof with spruce slabs. On the front of the roof, we're going to put two stairs on the inside and one by the frame. Again, put another deep slate tile here just to fill in this row. That'll help you place this stair, sort of. In this middle part, we're going to build a little dormer window. On top of these slabs, place four vertical strip spruce logs and another four here. Fill in the middle with a spruce plank, a bone block, another bone block above, and an oak trapdoor that flips upward. Now frame all this by putting upside down stairs at the tops of both sides, regular stairs on the outside, another stair on top, and an upside down stair in the middle. Top that with spruce slabs and connect it to this center bar. Now add some more deep slate tile stairs curving outward on either side. Hold shift and place a spruce trapdoor up against the oak trapdoor, like that, then put another right on top, and then one to either side. Below the window, put three azalea leaves. For this last section of roof, we wanna do the same thing with two dormer windows. First, we're gonna fix up our stairs on this side by running them out from the top row here, curve them, and go along the edge here out to the front frame. Now raise tiles and stairs up the sides against the frames. Place a deep slate tile on the back of this spruce slab here, then fill the three columns right up the middle with tiles and stairs too. Fill in the floor here with a strip spruce log beam going all the way across and spruce slabs to either side. Then from outside the upstairs room, place four vertical strip spruce logs on either side of one of these openings. Place a polished diorite at the bottom and then bone blocks or regular diorite here and here. Place an oak trapdoor in the middle that flips up, then place spruce stairs up against the top of the posts, upside down and facing out. Place stairs outside those and on top of those and place another in the middle. Top this with spruce slabs connecting to the main apex. Connect the window to the roof with stairs and then add another dormer window on the other side. With both your windows in, fill the bottom with deep slate tile slabs, like this. Shift click to place a spruce trapdoor over the oak trapdoor, then place one above and to either side. Do this on both windows. Grab the materials you see in my hot bar. Inside on the second floor, make a little doorway here between rooms with a spruce stair above and a mix of bone blocks and diorite to either side. Place a spruce door from inside the room Fill this roof space with a strip spruce beam. Fill this little gap with bone blocks or diorite 
and do the same on this side. Looks like we also need to fill this little gap at the top here and I'm just very quickly gonna grab a deep slate tile and put it there. At the outer wall, fill these little nooks with polished diorite and top with bone blocks or more diorite, then run vertical strip spruce log beams up to the archway top. For this window, you'll want to get outside, place polished diorite at the bottom and bone or diorite at the top, two oak trapdoors and then four spruce trapdoors across the top of the window like this. Below the window, place spruce trapdoors and stairs alternating like this. Time for the final touches. In front of the front door, add a little 3x3 platform of cobbled deep slate with two extra on either side and two slabs to either side. Place five cobbled deep slate walls on top of here and two lanterns on either end. Around the base of the tower, we want to repeat this pattern from higher up. So do a polished deep slate tile, deep slate brick, another polished deep slate tile on three sides, and then in the corners do a, another deep slate brick. Top those with alternating deep slate brick stairs and polished deep slate slabs. Now texture the entire tower by replacing some blocks with either cracked deep slate bricks or regular cobbled deep slate. Inside the tower on the third floor, top this gap with another polished deep slate and then a deep slate brick stair below it. Then you can put a door inside here to close off the room and you'll want to fill in these gaps by the floor like I did on the level below. To right at the side of the door, I'm gonna go ahead and put another couple of stripped spruce beams. Then of course, I'm going to fill in this gap in the top with another stripped spruce log beam. And once again, we're gonna want deep slate tiles in order to go into these little spots up here and up here. Fill in all these open window spaces on the back side of the house with oak trap doors that flip up at the top or down at the bottom. Then shift click to place a spruce trapdoor over the top oak trapdoor and place another above that. Do the same with this little window beside the tower except you don't need a trapdoor above it. For these two big windows on the front of the house, you'll want to place your oak trapdoors from the inside. On the front of the house, we want to go ahead and make little window boxes around each of these windows by shift clicking a spruce trapdoor into the uh, space just at the top of the top oak trapdoor. Then shift click another spruce trapdoor into the side of the lower one here, and then place another one below that and close them both. Do that on the other side as well. And then do the same to the other window. For the fireplace, let's add a three by two platform of mixed deep slate blocks on the ground here then a campfire in the middle. Surround that with more deep slate blocks. Then on top, put two blocks by the house and one in the back center, plus two stairs here. Put two more stairs here and here facing inward and then more deep slate blocks above those. Run a line of cobbled deep slate up the outside of the house and through the roof frame until you're two blocks above the roof. Then break some of these and replace them with deep slate bricks. Place another campfire on top, surround the base with spruce trapdoors or dark oak trapdoors if you have them, and then top it with a polished deep slate slab. Inside, place cobbled deep slate walls on either side, iron bars in the middle, and then three deep slate brick stairs across the top, and three polished deep slate slabs across here for a mantle. That's it, the house is pretty much complete. I'm going to tour it now with shaders on and give you some ideas how to decorate. I added a little wood pile here with a chopping block and used the armor stands data pack to place an ax coming out of it. And on the back of the house here, I added a couple more slabs for a step and more lanterns to keep the mobs away. The interior you can decorate however you like. I turned this room into a kitchen and I exchanged some of the cobbled deep slate on the floor for cobblestone and andesite. I tiled the floor under the fireplace by putting furnaces here so that I can smelt up 
whatever I want quickly and it's all a secret. This little room here is my storage and crafting room and I've got almost every type of workstation here. Believe it or not, this room is spawn proof. It's well lit enough thanks to candles. Upstairs here is my living room and my dining room. And I turn this little area back here into my bedroom. Uh, and over here is my little writing area. You know, I really just don't uh, keep up with my Minecraft journals anymore. And so I need a little writing area to do that. And up here on the third floor, I turn this room into a little brewing lab. And then over here, I've got a little cartography area and I've got my whole area mapped out already. And at the top of the tower here is my enchanting room. And I'm able to get uh, level 30 enchantments on my books and equipment here. Uh, you may have better ideas on how to decorate, of course, but I leave that up to you. That's it for this long tutorial. I really hope you build this house in your world and enjoy it. And if you do, please send me screenshots on Twitter. Click the like button and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this. And thanks for watching.